everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares and today I'm back with another speed build on my farm core autumn island of Maplewood. As you can see I've moved forward into November because I just felt like that would give me a more accurate representation of what the island will actually look like when it's come to releasing it and as you can see there's Shep's house. I've added in a little pumpkin patch there but this is going to be the main area where I'm going to be working on today and it's situated between Shep's, my entrance and the residence services and for this area I'm going to be doing a cornfield so let's put our hard hat on and get cracking. Ta-da! So for today I really wanted to do so for today I really wanted to get started and start thinking about what sort of veg and what produce I'm going to have on my farm court island and I've seen it done before lots of people have done it so it's not really very original but I think it works so I'm going to use the yellow hyacinth as corn and I'm going to go for quite like a standard kind of field it's not going to be anything too exciting maybe add some little details here and there just so you guys can um, get an idea of how to jazz up your farm so hopefully it'll be some inspiration for you first of all I'm going in with this path as you can see I'm trying to create kind of a circle and I'm gonna put a well in the middle just so that they've got water to plant to water the crops not plant the crops that would be a bit silly um, and I think that that was a cute idea it definitely kind of took inspiration from Mabel's apron there and I think that it's a really nice idea and then I'm just gonna work the dirt path out until the incline which I have over here for the entrance way up to Shep's kind of area and I just wanted to do that just so it's a bit more complete I think this area is quite open it's not a lot going on here right now so it's gonna be hard to visualize it in the long term but hopefully you'll be able to and I hope it'll give you an idea of kind of the way that I'm going with it um, I haven't really thought about how I'm gonna lay out this island which maybe I should do I kind of generally kind of work with the way of oh I'll just see what kind of happens <laughs> and I don't really come up with a plan which I know varies greatly from a lot of people um, who like to have structure and plans um, so it's gonna be a bit harder for me to kind of work on areas and I think it can be harder to try and get some inspiration as well. I've been struggling with my other island quite a lot. So that was the kind of well area that I decided and I've just popped some flowers down as well just to kind of go around the edge. And then I'm gonna pop a silo back here with a little tree just to kind of signify the end of the cornfield. And then the main chunk of this video is probably gonna be me laying down dirt because this is where I'm gonna plant the yellow hyacinths and I've decided to go vertically as opposed to horizontally as I just feel like it would be nicer to run through the cornfields in this direction I sound like Theresa May <laughs> running through cornfields um, if you get the reference you might not get it if you're um, not British but basically our Prime Minister at the time Theresa May said that um, I think it was like the craziest thing she's ever done or the naughtiest thing she's ever done was run through cornfields which maybe says a lot about the British politics system but hey um, right anyway back to our cornfield um, I'm gonna try and do it right up against resident services and just see how that looks I think the back of resident services I'm probably gonna build up some cliffs and um, maybe put Nook services and Able Sisters up there although I don't know whether it's a good idea whether that should be incorporated into kind of my farmers market area I haven't yet decided um, but we'll see what happens with that maybe instead of doing Nooks as like a um, kind of food market I could do it more as like a farming supplies shop which could look cool um, but we'll see what happens with that. So just gonna add the dirt down here as well um, Just so it can really flow and then hopefully maybe if you can get a good vantage point from that cliff that's there 
it's one thing that I really, really do struggle with is thinking about kind of how views look from a distance and I kind of regret that because the island that I just toured, Lottie Crossings Island, she's really thought about how perspective and how good things can look from afar. Um, so I definitely need to think about that more. I don't know whether it's easier if you have an island that's heavier with kind of simple panels or what. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes with this farm court island. Um, I did forget to move these trees, so apologies um, you're seeing me eating a lot of apples. Um, but I'll just shimmy these out of the way. I don't quite want these here. I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do out front of resident services, so if you guys have any ideas, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And while we're here, if you're enjoying the video, please remember to click that like button. It really does help the channel out. So now that I've planted the corn on this left hand side, I've just thought about what kind of little details I can add to the area. So I've got the scarecrow, the straw fence, which I kind of thought fitted nicely with the area and this hay bed i'm going to try and fit it in here behind this tree there we go you can kind of just see it poking out i thought that that was cute and i feel like we've got a hand cut in here somewhere yes we do in the kind of rustic brown color and then i'm going to dot some of the straw fences around i've never used it before surprisingly um but i really i like it here don't know if that tree will stay there. It feels a bit encroaching on the farm area. Maybe I need another kind of silo of that side, but we'll see. Um, I had to run back and grab some more yellow hyacinths. I think I've severely underestimated how many I'm gonna need for this build, um, but we'll just keep going and we'll see what happens. Um, I do have some planted over in the depths of the island um, so I'll grab them at some point as well um, but near the end maybe we'll just have to time travel forward and I also custom designed some cushions to look like seeds and sacks so it's like the sacks of wheat um, I just thought that they would be a nice addition to add near to where the silo is I was going to use the dirt but I thought that the water puddle was maybe more fitting for the hose reel and I also wanted to see what the brick well looked like instead of the simple well. Um, it didn't quite work so I'm going to go back in with the simple well um, and leave it how it was. Sometimes you don't need to mess with things but uh, curiosity definitely took over there. And here is another um, scarecrow. I'm going to put some leaves down just before we put a bucket on. I love doing that if you've got something that um, you can put a custom design underneath. Definitely something to think about. Just adding those extra details, I think it does make the difference. Um, I need to get rid of that one. I think it did, I was overly ambitious <laughs> with how far back it went. Definitely. I pop this side back down. I'm going to have it the opposite way to the one that I've got on the left hand side just for a bit of variation. My silo crafting has definitely gone through the roof on this island. Never crafted so many. I would really love to if there was a way for the statistics to count how many times you've crafted a particular item because I'm sure barrels would be number one for me definitely. Um, <laughs> I don't know what would be second. What do you guys think would be your number one crafted item? I think it'd be really interesting to find out. Okay, there we go. I've added in some barrels while we were talking about them. That's perfect. Um, just to kind of round off the area. And then, as I said, I'll put some cliffs in behind resident services and see how that looks at a later date. Maybe that'll be another speed build. We will see. Yeah. 
and what would this area be? I feel like it should fit as many hay bales in as possible, just as the idea that they've been kind of harvested and although corn is different from hay, okay, um, ignore that. <laughs> um, my farming knowledge is not great. For someone who grew up in a small village, I'm probably not the best, but hey. Um, yeah, so corn is different. Right? Um, so here we go, popping in some more corn. It took me a long time to get these um, yellow bags, so um, hopefully this looks how I imagined it. Okay, I think that's everything planted. Um, I do want to use these grass dandies more on this island. Again, probably one of the items that I've never really used before, but I really like the autumnal coloration on them and the bushes as well. So I'm definitely gonna try and use them more. And then I'm kind of stuck with that area, what to do there. Um, but I'm just gonna come back here and finish off back here. Um, again, I thought about the path and I thought there's not really a way out of the field apart from going to Sheps and that's kind of a dead end. So I'm going to go and do a path out here as well just so it can connect on to another area. Okay, and what can we pop here? more straw fencing yep and some more barrels definitely but lantern up there just for some light and some more sacks okay I think that looks all right yeah Okay, and now I'm going to tackle this bit here. As I said, I'm just going to see how it plays up with resident services. I think maybe a little stunted tree could work nicely. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe just here. There we go. And remembering to stunt it. I always forget that. And for this side, I think I'm gonna use the barbed wire fence just because you can kind of see through it. I know I used the straw fence at the top, but this is more kind of like a boundary fence, so it's slightly different. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the cornfield area. It's taken up quite a large space, um, which I think is something that's gonna happen quite a lot on this island, where you've got fields and stuff. Um, but I quite like the way that it looks. Kind of got the rows of corn and then the kind of farming items on the outer edges. I need to get up that cliff and see what it looks like looking down for some photos. But I definitely am going to put those cliffs in behind resident services. It's going to be quite a heavily terraformed island, I feel. And I do miss doing that, so I'm quite excited to get terraforming um, and just see what works. But yeah, let me know what you think about my cornfield. Do you think it's, it's okay? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And I hope you all have a lovely day. If you have liked the video, please remember to click the like button. And if you're new here and you want to see more Animal Crossing content, please remember to subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. So that's all left to say is goodbye. Bye.